Welcome back everybody, Dren 608 Plays, we're playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like what you see, go ahead and see. Hit the notify, uh, subscribe button and then the notify bell. Um, we just gotten done running around here. Uh, some guy ran away that I couldn't chase on this map. Because I can't get over here, so I guess I have to go out. And then I got a notice in Lindsay's journal. Uh... Meet and discuss what we learned about the source of the disease. So, I guess we're going to go back and maybe do a level up here. Um, so, everybody out. Used up a lot of our spells. Not many consumables, but I've got tons of consumables to use up if we run into trouble. There's like the Lonely Mill. Should I go check that out before we go back? It's kind of on the way. So, go here. Let's go check this out. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, fire of those. They open cakes, spotted us, Mary Gowan's about to do the other. There's no way, but I used to join their face in response to the bear says, Ah, waffle good. Scattered and ran, kicking up clouds of flour. When the dust of clouds settled, the goblins said there was no sign. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else there. There's nothing entries left of this location. Okay. <laughs> I guess we go home. So it's going to take 12 hours. I don't know if we'll get there before they all start saying they're tired. Oh, uh, we do. Okay. Um, got stuff, I've got a guy here I can sell my stuff to, and there was something about, what's that? oh, that's the, uh, the Hobbit thing. Okay, um, guess we go into the throne room, because there's meeting our advisors or something, so let's go do that. Action panel activates their automatic use of combat. The spell or ability will be used as a standard attack action. Alright. Even the dogs here. My goodness. Stand on the throne waiting inside as you approach. The atmosphere is tense today. You'll be discussing a strange identity light that's recently struck your barony. Gloomy silence. Let me pet by a loud chewing. Knock knock. I grabbed a whole fried chicken from the table and is busily devouring it, ignoring everyone else completely. Knock knock's in my group now? Well, now that we're all here, let's sum up what we know. We spent a lot of time and effort and learned what we can about where the monsters come from and what's causing the strange disease. I hope the conversation can help shed some light on the situation. We need to hurry. If we don't find the source of this blight and eliminate it, we may end up with a rebellion on our hands. How are we at this point? Look at you closely. Joe, it's surgery. Showed it was magic seeds causing the disease, right? Seeds were ingested. It seems that they're likely usually extremely small, almost invisible. People simply swallow them with their food. Once the seed is in the stomach, it begins to grow and causes symptoms from seeing our patients. As soon as the seed gains enough strength, it sprouts and turns into a magical portal, just like a blood turning into a flower. Rest forgive me. Something must have possessed me to say that. It really does look like blooming. Each seed tears the body of his victim just as the flower tears its bud. Doesn't mean that there are other kinds, but the monster invasion at least is not their work. If I have anything new that happens, I wouldn't be surprised if they leak this story. But I doubt the seeds are created by goblin chiefs. Besides, a plan like this seems a little beyond the goblin chiefs' intelligence. Know what I think? I think Goblin King is rotten lice scratcher. Shaman plays him like reed pipe, babbles a lot of and plots behind his back. <clears throat> Tell me. Papers on the table. Undoubtedly from some world alien to our own. All monsters appearing from the bloom are exceptionally large and strong. It would be rare to encounter such specimens of stolen lands. We know most Uncle Lauren, but it's impossible to say what it is that lies on the other side of the portals that intend on killing our people. Okay. So the bloom's central properties are strange seeds getting to people's bodies, which causes their disease and which can now we just need to discover where the seeds are coming from. They 
may have noticed an interest in well, two details, two details. Affect mostly the villagers. There have been no recorded case of disease within the city limits except for those who came here looking for the cure. That's right, thus we can assume the compact is a few source for many villagers get their food from the same territory. I don't think food is a problem. Take a look. He points at the map. We have the most cases of disease here, here, and over here. Monsters mostly attack here and here. Just on the map, tapping points along the sea. The situation almost died along the banks of the Gundren River. Exactly, how long the river? It must be from their drinking water. There's a drink. But if you're very straight, this comes with a balloon bear? Deal with the situation where that happens. No, I should drink. Well, we have to go upstream. Take me, take me! <laughs> I want to settle score with the king. Oh, shut up, knock knock. I don't even want you in my group. If you allow me, Baron, I'd like to take the lead on this. I'll take the best members of the militia with me and sweep the woods along the river. We'll look under every tree I can eat. Things went through. These people deserve a chance to discover the source of their misfortunes. Uh, do I send him? Carefully and rationally go to your people and await my arrival. Uh, and I think I need to do it this way. Right, of course, Grace. I'll order my men to get ready immediately. We'll wait to arrive on and make a move. What Grace is doing. Right, saves the day and night, saves the many. But for each patient we cure, we receive two newly infected. What can you tell me of your brethren? I can just dangle your full walls and shame them as I can. Okay. How did you find the link? Not the only sign of something abnormal at work. Remember the ruins where we first met? The glade near those ruins? Full of huge flowers? Yeah. They're all over the stone land. Seems strange, does it not? Especially if we take into account the magic seeds in the world. From the disaster of the bloom. I'd like to research this natural hunter, perhaps. Stop talking as loud. Hasty footsteps are heard from the main entrance. Uh oh. oh this is Keston. What's this? Your grace, we have trouble. The peasants are rioting. Uh oh. Well, please don't worry, Baron. As long as they're not setting guard in the streets, we still have a chance to come here. So if you allow me, I'll go and speak with them and do what I must call the crowd down. My feast is prevail, our guards are standing with you, let's go, I can hear their shouting even from here. We find Keston and his people. So we're all out here, okay. Yeah. Your memory shouts from your arrival, someone flies out of the crowd and strikes the cobbles at your feet, okay. There he is, out at last, damn his eyes. But it's his mouth. The Baron is right. Maybe this is pure nonsense. Don't you get it? We could run the Baron through, but it wouldn't change a thing. He's more use alive than dead. 
So be it, Baron. We'll let you pass, but don't forget, we're trusting you with our lives. Yeah, no. Save your children from this terrible sickness gain for the remaining experience points. We've already got to go up a level. Okay. Wow, that was uh, intense for 10 minutes. Oh, now Lindsay's here. Actual Baron. Talk about Ugin. I'm worried about him lately, although worried might be too strong a word. He is way too gloomy, even more than usual, if that's possible. Life without family must be hard for him. He has us, he's going to need to replace with the house family. What are you getting at? What I'm getting at is that we should hold a merry revel and the opportunity to talk to him heart to heart. We just invite him for a drink, he'll no doubt refuse, so just organize everything in secret. We'll gather us, prepare food and drink, bring a good and I'll even bring my loot. What do you say? What the heck, yeah. Too late, so we gotta pull him out of his mood right away. Probably on our way to looking for stuff. Man, I got stuff to do. Ah. <sighs> Gotta go find up the Governor River and do the Feast of Feasts. How much time do I have? 250 days. Okay. Okay. Um. Do I have junk? Do I have junk to get rid of? What's this? Plus one. Plus one cloak. Let's go see my girls. Um, just get on a plus one. Give her a cloak. Oh, I need to give that to Lindsay. Give that back to Lindsay. Where are you, Lindsay? I love giving the dexterity belt to pop people up on their dexterity, but going to have you wearing that on a regular basis. This needs to go to my friendly neighborhood alchemist. Um, where's my girls? She has one of everything. She has a yeah. Does she, have, does she have one of these on? Okay. Well, I've got knock knock. I guess I can. I guess I can give him a plus one amulet. Plus one ring for now. Um, Reggie. Oh, Reggie doesn't have an amulet. Nope. Where's Knock Knock? Give me that back, Knock Knock. You don't get that. That's going to go on Reggie. Yeah. Give Reggie that. Give him an extra armor class. think anybody else needs a ring. I've got a ring on everybody. At least one ring on everybody. I think that's about all I can do. Next plus two ring I'm going to replace Tartuccio's gift with it for me. I need to get my armor class up. Because it's starting to bother me. Uh. Well, she has on the nymph's gift. I probably should just give her a plus two armor class and take the nymph's gift for myself. Versus arrows. 
this ranged attacks. Uh, I guess I'll leave that there for now. Got lots of wisdoms floating around. A lot of people to level up here, too. What's my time at? 15 minutes. <laughs> so do I turn this into a point five and level everybody up before we go out there? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're going to level up quick. Uh, I don't think there's a lot to do on these level ups. Feats. No. So we're not going to get anything at level 10, I don't think. Just hit points and points here. Um, his perception and his religion. Up his trickery. And don't know what else to do. Uh, give him one in mobility. Okay, that's all I get. I get some more spells, probably. Uh, Dale. Do we get anything? No, we don't get anything till. Ah, uh, stop this. Now, at 10th, we get this, this, and another archer thing. But here, all we get is evasion. So I don't think we're going to get much of anything here. Oh, 10th level. Oh, we get all sorts of stuff. Okay. My rangers, I've been thinking about this. Um, stealth helps our camp. Uh, of course, we want our nature and our perception up for him. The other two... Um, one in trickery, and then one in... Lore religion, just so he has a shot at religion. And then he gets... Um, Oh, he gets, we get extra things here. Improved. Oh, point blank master. So if they're on top of us, um, you can, no attacks of opportunity. Yes, point blank range. Favorite enemy. You know, we've been seeing a lot of things that come out. They seem to be fey. We're not going to get another one until 15th. So I'm going to take fey. I mean, part of it is dragon sounds nice, but I think I'm going to take Fae. Even though we're going to be dealing with goblins, I don't think we'll have much problem with them. But those, uh, like the leader, the bosses of the curses seem to be Fae creatures, so I'm going to take Fae. And then fey, my second favorite enemy to get the extra plus two. I've been dealing with a lot of magical beasts, so we're going to take magical beasts. And then... Archery. I took archery. What? What's this? Point blank master. Oh, I have to pick the weapon for point blank master. Okay, so uh, it'll be uh, the longbow, because that includes the composite longbow. All right, that's enough. That's all we get there. Um. I'm going to go down the exact same route. Uh, tenth level ranger, get some more hit points. Um, with my four points, uh, we've been saying persuasion and lord nature, but I'm wondering if I should go. I have to up my trickery so that I get a chance at something else. My perception and my lord nature. Okay. And then I'm going to have something similar to this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go Fae. Because. And then the second favorite enemy. We've been dealing with a lot of Magical Beasts. Go after Magical Beasts. Uh, and then Point Blank Master. Just like he did on the Longbow. Because, hey, that means we can shoot when they're in our face. And I'm done. Um, where are we going here? Next down the line, Amiri. 
she's kind of straightforward. She goes up to 10th level Barbarian. She's going to get another Rage power. What did this do? Our damage reduction went up. Good. Okay. She's got 145 hit points. That should be good. Four points. Um, I've been taking that up because there's something that she gets there. Um, maybe raise her perception. We've had to do a lot of these tricks, too. She's not really good at trickery, but then again, she doesn't really go around opening chests. Right? Um, I don't know. Uh, best to have as many people with good things there, because we've had to climb hills and stuff. Uh, next she gets a Rage Power. She could take this again. And stack it up. Eternal Fortitude. She could be... You can't nauseate or sicken her. Or I could take another Swift Foot and get an extra 10 Foot. Steadily Accuracy Dude. Uh, that's a crackle. Uh, I'm thinking... Maybe make her damage reduction even more? Because it stacks? Right? This is nice too, but we've got restoration potions to do with that. Uh, yeah, we're going to take increased damage reduction. The next one she gets at 12th level, I'll probably up her speed, but right now it seems like a good thing to do. And that's it. That's all we get. Barbarian. Uh, Val's going to be something very similar, except she gets a combat feat. Uh, fighter. Yes. 134 hit points. Oh, three points in skills. Um, well, her perception... I'm going to put points here. There's something about mobility with her and shields or something. I can't remember. I'm going to raise up her mobility. Um, so, improved critical is cute, but I don't really want that. Um, she can take... Plus four attacks up opportunity against her. This one lets her attack to her dexterity bonus. Oh, that's what it is. De Dazzling display. Hammer the gap. The same if I deal with extra damage equal to the number of previous consecutive hits. That's really not that important. Improved initiative would get her up. I wish there was something that would say, move faster. But she doesn't have anything that makes her move faster. Uh, yeah, Intimidating Prowess would be nice on Miri. Improved Blind Fight. Hmm. Improved Blind Fight sounds nice. Uh, da 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 da. Armor focus? What would armor focus do? Uh, she could pick one and she'd get an extra plus one on her armor for her heavy armor. Ooh. That'd take her up another armor point. She's really my. Yeah, she's gonna take heavy armor focus. So now she's even an extra one. She was up, should be up even more. that. So she should be at Yeah, so she's way up there. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about Knock Knock because I think I have to take him up. Two levels? Uh, he gets a point here. 
Oh, let's just make him ridiculous. Oh, he gets a whole bunch of points over here. So, trickery, stealth, mobility, perception, and... Oh, let's let him use a magic device now, once in a while. Um... Fast stealth, make you move quickly. It throw in Canyon Observer, helps his perception. Combat trick. going to get a regular feat next time, too. This just sounds like him, Iron Guts. That just sounds like Knock Knock. Okay, um, that's it for there. There's a Knife Master. And take him up, ninth level. Lots of points. One extra point to drop somewhere else. Um, let's give him athletics. He gets a feat. You don't need a light weapon or any other weapon you use with weapon finesse you choose to improve two weapon fighting. Uh, let's give him blind fight. It's either blind fight or two weapon fighting. Uh, let's just go with knock knock. Seems to be somebody who fights this way. And that's done. And then he gets up to tenth level. Uh, more points to hand out. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's give him that one. Um, rogue talent. Spelling attack. Oh, he could get a familiar. <laughs> I could give him a familiar. Uh, no, I think we'll give him... Half damage on failed saves. Again, sounds like him. Alright, we're done with him. Uh, character... Jubilus should be easy. Just keep going up as an alchemist. Gets a bunch of stuff here. He's immune to poison, finally. Don't have to worry about poisons with him. Um, what was I going to take here? Let's make these people not be able to do him, man. What was explosive bombs? Oh, this makes the splash bigger, so we're going to do that. Uh, five points. Perception, world, trickery. Up is Arcania and is that one. Okay. He gets a spell. Uh, fourth level spells. Oh, he doesn't have any at all, so he gets a fourth level spell. Death Ward, Elemental Body, Personal, Greater Invisibility, One Friendly Creature, Restoration, Stone Skin, 
Damage reduction 10. Ooh. That could be nice. Delay poison communal. I don't know, I like stone skin. Blows, cut, stabs, and damage reduction 10 and a venta. points of damage per caster level, so it'll be 100 points of damage. Yeah, that could be useful. And he's done. Uh, who's next? Octavia? Oh, this is where I was going to try and put her over the top. I'm not going to do Octavia. I'm going to do the simple ones. Inquisitor. Straightforward. She can use three things a day. I don't think she gets anything else. Just points, right? Upper trickery. Her perception is ridiculous. Magic device is good enough. Um, one, two. And... She does get some spells. Um... Protection from alignment, communicals, invisibility. Uh, investigate. She already has that. Um, everybody has this effortless armor. It's personal. What does it do? Reduces your speed. Yeah. That way she can move faster. Alright. Uh, fourth levels. This is a healing spell for her. So she has to take that. And then I think protection from energy communal. Might be her best bet here. Hold monster. Oh, that sounds like something she would do. Hold monster. Yes. Okay this out of here. She's all done. Uh, character. Oh, my Tiefling girls, I have no idea what to do with. I'm going to just do the simple ones. Um, cleric. Next, I think he just gets spells out of this. He gets two points, which we've just been going lore religion and perception. That's what he does. And he's done. He's got fifth level spells, so great. Okay, um, I'm not going to level up the other four. The kineticists, I have to think, I have to read up on how to do that, and then the other two, I'm going to do specialists. Go into the specialist role. So I'm going to do that in uh, a separate little video before we start the next time. Um, so if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you like to see, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notify button. I have to set everybody's spells. Uh, I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to up level up the others on um, offline and then I'll just show you what I did before we start out and then we're gonna go do a bunch of stuff here um, gotta go up the river um, this is what is this we have to go find the technically but it's in the other direction I think we've got 250 days we gotta do this we're gonna do this on the way so we're gonna do that we're going to do a Feast of Feasts to try and get Kundo to stay with us forever. And I'll show you what I did for the uploads, and then we'll start moving on uh, this. And go up the Gundan River, I guess. Okay? Alright, sounds like a plan. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button, like I said, and then subscribe if you can, too. Subscriptions obviously help me as a YouTube uh, creator, and thumbs up always help me get this out to more people. So, and leave me comments. I do read them. I do respond. And until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.